Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. In case you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe for updates. Melanocytic nevi, and we are looking at the various variant forms. So first, we look at the congenital nevus. So first is the congenital nevus. So here, congenital nevus, the diagnostic features being it is deep dermal. So this will be deep dermal. Congenitic nevus is going to be deep dermal. It is deep dermal and sometimes it is subcutaneous growth. It is subcutaneous growth is present. Then and subcutaneous growth is present around the adnexa, around the adnexa. Next is they can be neurovascular bundles. There is neurovascular bundles. So there is neurovascular bundles are present and also the blood vessel walls. The blood vessel walls. Next we will go into the cytological features. So there is a cytologic features. So cytological features, there is a congenital nevus. It is to identify identify to ordinary acquired nevi identical to ordinary ordinary acquired nevi next is what is the clinical significance of this clinical significance of congenital nevus is it is present at birth so it is present at birth and large variants have increased melanoma risk so large variants they have increased they have increased melanoma risk. Melanoma risk. Next is we move on to the blue nevus. So what is this blue nevus? So blue nevus, there is a non-nested uh, dermal infiltration. So this is a non-nested. And it is a dermal. Non-nested dermal infiltration infiltration and it is associated with the it is associated with the fibrosis it is associated with the fibrosis next let's look at the cytologic features so under the cytologic features it is highly dendritic it is highly dendritic it is highly dendritic and it is heavily pigmented it is heavily pigmented heavily pigmented and there is presence of nevus cells so this is with respect to the blue nevus next we look at the clinical significance so what is the clinical significance clinical significance it involves a black there is a black blue nodule there is presence of black blue nodule there is presence of black blue nodule and it is often confused with melanoma it is confused with melanoma melanoma clinically so clinical significance as black blue nodule there is often confused with melanoma and it is present clinically next is spitz spitz nevus spitz nevus the diagnostic feature being the vascular growth there is vascular growth and what is the cytologic feature cytologic features is presence of there is a large plump so there is a large plump cells so large plump cells with pink blue cytoplasm with pink blue pink blue cytoplasm and the spindle due to spindle to epithelioid cells then the spindle to the epithelioid cells next let's look at some clinical significance of this the clinical significance of the spit cells the clinical significance is that it involves commonly involves the children so it involves the children It involves the children 
and then there is uh, also the red pink nodules there is involvement of red pink nodule and often confused with the hemangioma clinically so spitz nevus it has the vascular growth there is a large lump of glial cells with the uh, pink blue cytoplasm and spindle to the epithelial cells it is common in children and it is red pink nodule and often confused with the hemangioma clinically next what we look at is the halo nevus so what is this halo nevus halo nevus means there is a lymphocytic infiltration surrounding the nevus cells so there is a lymphocytic lymphocytic infiltration so there is lymphocytic infiltration and it surrounds the nevus cells it surrounds the nevus cells next is what is the cytologic features cytologic features next is the cytologic features so cytologic features of the halo nevus what is it so it is uh, identical to the ordinary acquired nevus it is identical to ordinary acquired ordinary acquired nevi next is the clinical significance what is the clinical significance there is host immune response against so there is host immune immune response host immune response and it is against the nevus cells it is against the nevus cells and also the surrounding normal melanocytes so surrounding normal melanocytes next we will look at the dysplastic nevus so what is the dysplastic nevus so dysplastic nevus it is a coalescent intra epidermal nest it is a coalescent intra epidermal so coalescent intra epidermal nest and what are the cytologic features the cytologic features it involves a cytologic atypia so there is cytologic atypia then there is also the potential marker or precursor for the melanoma this potential marker or precursor of melanoma To learn and grow daily like this please do subscribe